When you visit the textile factory at Coyote Ridge Correction Center in Connell, usually you will find the men working on clothing. When you go to the factory today, you will find the men hard at work making protective gowns. During a typical week, the textiles factory is producing 1,800 to 2,000 garments a week. They are currently still making garments, but are producing over 500 protective gowns a day with the hope of making 2,100 gowns a day. Roger Hewitt, the textile supervisor at the facility, was happy to help. It's kind of a nice feeling to be able to give back, um, and uh, especially in this, the, the time of need. The State Emergency Operations Center asked Secretary Steve Sinclair and Correctional Industries Director Sarah Sitzma if the department could help provide relief in the current personal protective equipment shortage due to COVID-19. They went to the textiles team at Coyote Ridge and are now expanding to other facilities for supplying help. Brian Burke, one of the Correctional Industries workers at Coyote Ridge, was asked to make the pattern for the gowns, and that's the pattern being used. My daughter, she was, she was extremely pleased with that. She's like, you know, there's so many people out here that are in dire emergency for it. The fact that you have a part of this, you should be proud of yourself. Corrections is committed to its community, a key value of the department. These individuals, incarcerated individuals and staff, are teaming together to create a much needed resource in a time of need. By producing these protective gowns, all individuals are demonstrating positive behavior and putting forth their best effort. Everyone involved has been working hard to follow the Centers for Disease Control COVID-19 guidelines, including social distancing, while continuing to produce high-quality products. Many workers like Shelby Bush are on board. We want to help. We want to give back. And there's more people out here in the shop that want to help out and make gowns as well. So I'm hoping in the future we can have this whole shop making gowns.